Hello and welcome, and today I want to do something that I've been planning on doing for a while, but it's not a time-sensitive matter, so it just keeps getting pushed off. I want to try on all of my red lipsticks today and check them out and see if I could um, narrow down the, uh, the list a little bit. I did this with my pink lipsticks in the spring. It was a two-parter and I ended up decluttering most of my bright pink lipsticks. I have like my favorite one, my favorite go-to if I need a pink now. And I'm hoping to have like maybe a similar experience with these reds. Also the thing with these reds is that like, I think all of them are pretty old. They're mostly liquid lipsticks, which I mean for a red, I don't mind because while I like the comfort of like a cream lipstick, I don't want to have to worry about a bold color being smeared on my face. So I do like more when they stay put. But I think the fact that they're liquid lipsticks is evidence of how long ago I purchased them. Because I don't think I've purchased a liquid lipstick in a long time. So yeah, I just filmed um, a video about my glam light palette and I put um, Lemon Drop from Colourpop, another really old liquid lipstick, on my lips. But I'm going to take it off and we'll start going into these. So that lipstick did make my lips a little bit pinker than usual, but I know these are pigmented enough that it won't affect it, so I'm not too concerned. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I usually pride myself on like just zooming zooming you the fuck in because I feel like for application and stuff, it's so much nicer. But then sometimes when I do lip swatches really close, I'll look back at footage and I'll be like, nobody's real teeth <laughs> look that good close up and especially not mine. So um, hopefully this is a happy medium. I'm kind of doing you a favor here, okay? The first one I'm gonna swatch is the one that I think is my favorite. I think that's a good way to go. It's probably more one of the more recent ones that I've acquired, but even this was probably like 2018 that I got it. It's funny with the pandemic because I feel like 2019 sounds so long ago, but 2019 was like the last Christmas season that I had that was normal, that anyone had that was normal. Um, pretty weird. So I feel like this wasn't that recent that I got it. So probably 2018. This is, um, I'm kind of going off on details. Sorry, I'm feeling chatty. This is Lullaby Matte X from Colourpop. And in fact, I remember wearing it to a concert in fall of 2019. And I had it for a while then. I really like this formula. I feel like this is like a happy medium where it um, stays put enough because it's like a matte X formula, but it also feels more comfortable because it's a stick application. I love that. I love the like bright tomato red. I think maybe that's my thing that I prefer more of like an orange based red as opposed to like a cool toned blue based red. But I think this is the kind of color that I just feel like my face looks good with. I like my face wearing this lipstick. So yeah. I don't know if it's still available because Colourpop, I just can't, I can't keep up with them anymore. They have so many like new releases, they discontinue things so quickly. So I don't know if they still have this, but I love it. And I'm going to try to take all of these off before they set too much. I should note also that after I take these off, I'm kind of just like gently patting over with my foundation brush to kind of keep the area looking all right. So yeah. The next one I guess I'll swatch is more of like a neon orange. This is... Rivera, I'm not sure. I never learned how to say it. <laughs> From um, Colourpop, it's the collaboration with Kathleen Lights, and I believe this was 2017. Oh god, that was four years ago. This one I really wanted to like, but I just remember feeling like it just... Like, I don't mind if they teeter the line around neon, but once they are neon, I just think they look ridiculous on my lips. Not my style. This one's a satin, so I like the formula of it. I know that.
Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. It doesn't look that ridiculous in the camera, does it? Does it? I forgot how difficult these um <laughs> these live decisions are. Swatch it next to that. They're definitely both in the orange family, but you can see that this one's way more of like a true orange. It's funny that I've always thought of this as a red because it really is just an orange. I think for right now, I'm gonna hold on to it. This might be what happened with the pink video because with the pink video, there was a lot that I kept in my collection because they were like unique to my collection or whatever. And then when I edited and looked back at the footage, I was like, I look so dumb <laughs> in these lipsticks and I'm never gonna wear them. And that's where the part two came in. I'm not saying I'll make a part two. I don't know. We barely swatched any of these yet. I do post declutter videos where I kind of just go through things that I put to the side throughout the month. And it's possible if I end up decluttering things, they'll just end up there or I'll do like a future, just like general lip declutter. Um, that's me being chatty again. Let me take this off. All right, I really want to turn this boat around. Is that a saying? So I'm going to go over one that I'm pretty sure I can get rid of. This one is Checkmate from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I no longer support Jeffree Star Cosmetics, but I used to purchase years ago. And this one, I remember even when I got it in probably 2017, maybe 2018. I don't know. I remember thinking right away like, oh, I don't like how this looks on me. And somehow I still have it. This one looks really orange too. It's not horrible, but I just don't think it does anything for me. Yeah. I think I'm also struggling because I just like my styling today. I like my hair and my eye makeup. And I think that's um, throwing me off. I think this one tastes weird. All right, yeah, this one's going. Oh, I guess I'll swatch it. Should I? Maybe I'll swatch the loser separately, even though I don't know how long that'll last because I don't know if I'll always stick to my decision. There's my loser pile. There's my winner pile. This next one is from ColourPop. It's called Surprise. It's a collab with Hello Kitty from a long time ago, and it's like a metallic formula. I kind of don't want to swatch this. All right, I think I'm not going to swatch this because it smells weird, and that makes my decision a lot easier and I know it's so old. This one's also more of like a blue based, right? Yeah, that one can go. That makes my life easier. Next, we'll do extra toppings from ColourPop unless it smells really weird. I just don't even know what a normal ColourPop smells like anymore. Maybe this one's fine. This one's more of like a muted red, I want to say, or like more of like slightly burnt. Hmm. I just know that I wouldn't choose this one. I know that I would choose that first one and there's one upcoming that I really like or even a couple that I'm not sure about. And I think this like slightly duller red just isn't for me. It's also like, I have to remember these red lipsticks. I'm not someone that wears a red every day. It's like wearing a red is a special occasion enough that I don't need to, on those special occasions, be like, oh, well, I might as well use this one that I never use and then end up having one that I don't like. I don't know if that sentence made sense, but hopefully you know what I mean. Yeah, it's such a different tone. It almost looks like it has like coral mixed into it. That's two yeses and three noes. I'm doing pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to even the score here, though, because this one is Lucky Star. It's an ultra satin from ColourPop, a collab with Kathleen Lights, I believe in 2018, maybe 2019. I'm not sure. This one smells kind of strong, and it smells like if I was on the fence about this color, I would <laughs> declutter it based on the scent. But I really love this red. They don't have it anymore. If they had it anymore also, I would just buy a new one. Um, but I guess we'll find out if I can stand it. Beautiful. I think I could stand it. You know, it's been, it's been five seconds and I'm standing it now. 
I think this one's like a slightly more mature version of that first one. It's not as bright and orangey. It's like a very true red. I really like it. Let's put it on the winner side. Those are my three little winners, my little buddies. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Another red that I think I like is the I Love Sour E collab with ColourPop. Also from years ago, this shade is Ariba, and this is an ultra matte. This is a slightly deeper red. Maybe in fact this is like the truest red that we've tried so far. But I really like it. Wow. I want to start wearing more reds. It's funny how it's like one of those things that like you feel like you're dressed up when you're wearing a red lip, but if you wear them all the time and it just becomes part of your look, no one's even going to notice if you're wearing a red lip. I think I'm also being influenced because today is red day, November 12th, Taylor's version just came out, and I've been looking at the imagery all week of her and like her little cute red lips and it makes me want to be like that too. Just having a big uh, 2012 moment right now. Cute cute i like it okay so we're at four yeses and three no's right now i have one more that's more of like a true red and then we're gonna teeter into my my small burgundy category this red i just know it's gonna be hard for me to make a decision about because my cousins gave it to me as a gift many years ago and i remember i wore it to the city in oh god i think it was 2016 did they give this to me in 2015 Oh God, I just remember wearing it to the city and I was genuinely getting compliments on my red lip. And I just feel like that's a special thing. That doesn't happen that often that you wear like a makeup product and strangers are like, hey, I really like your lipstick. Like, which one is that, you know? That's a dumb thing to hold on to, especially if it's old and it shows me that it's old, but I guess we'll find that out right now. It smells a little Play-Doh-y, but not that bad. I think she's still kind of cute, right? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like what I notice in other Lime Crime, this is Lime Crime uh, Red Velvet. I didn't even say that. I hope I was saying for the other shades. What I've noticed in other Lime Crime lipsticks that I've decluttered is that the formula is thinner and then it tends to be more like splotchy. And I can see the potential for that in this. At least when I looked in the mirror, but it's not that bad. I still like it. It feels really dry. That's for sure. <sighs> but I like it. I feel cute in it. And I'm keeping it. I'm sorry. I'm keeping it. This next one is KVD Project Chimps. This is also so old. And I remember I saw this at Sephora. I swatched it and then it went out of stock and I ended up ordering it from the KVD website. And I was never as thrilled with it as I wanted to be. It was like this fantasy. And then once I finally got it, I was like, oh, it was just, it's just that. The thing that I think I don't like about it is that it's not deep enough to be a burgundy, but it's not bright enough to be a red. And I think it just looks kind of like mature on me. And that's not what I like to do with my makeup. So it's been a while since I put it on. Whoops. We'll worry about that later. <laughs> it doesn't smell the greatest, but I'm still gonna put it on. I'm gonna need 10 layers of lip mask tonight. I think it kind of is exactly what I just said. It's like really in between. I feel like I look like me from years ago. Yeah, I still like, I feel like I want to keep it because of what it is, like because it's this item, but I don't think I want to keep this lipstick that's on my lips. I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't feel very comfortable. It feels very dry and very sticky and I know it's really old and, and ugh, I'm not excited about the color. So why would I keep a color where I don't like the color? 
especially of a shade range where I don't wear it very often anyway. I have to get rid of this. <laughs> this is a tough one. I'll put it on the screen here if I wasn't strong, but I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay, the penultimate shade is one that I know I like a lot. This is Prim from ColourPop. It's an ultra satin. And I used this in like one of my like lip wardrobes that I was doing for a little bit back back earlier in the year. And I know I really like this one. So let's let's pop her on. I feel like this one's a really interesting burgundy because it's very much like a like a blackened brownish plum. It's not so much like a deep red. Oh, I forgot how much I like this. Yeah, I feel like this one doesn't look like the, you know, pumpkin spice latte girls whipping out their ruby woo <laughs> for the fall or whatever. I feel like this looks like its own unique vampy shade. Yeah, really like this one. This final one, I think it could kind of go either way. This is Ofra. Havana Nights. It was a collab with Kathleen Lights. There's a big trend of that here. This one I got because she released um, the two colors as nail polishes with her old brand Kale Polish. And if you bought the bundle, it would come with one of the two. And I remember I had um, Miami Fever already and I was hoping I would get this one. And I did, so that was kind of cool. But it was also after they switched over their packaging to like the white caps. So they're clearly just trying to like get rid of old inventory. Um, I didn't really mind, but I think that shows me though that like that was a couple years ago that that collab came out that I got this. And this makeup is older than then because it wasn't produced in the months leading up to that because of the packaging. It smells a little strong also. Let's see. Oh, it feels really thick. All right, now it feels really thin. <laughs> you know, I feel like the color is more similar to that ColourPop one than I would have guessed. And because of that, I think it makes it easier to get rid of this one. I don't wear burgundy lips that often. I think in fact, I probably wear red lips more often than I wear burgundy lips and I rarely wear red lips. So I don't need two burgundy lipsticks and I really like that prim one. So this one, oh, I didn't swatch the um, prim in my, my winner circle. Here's prim with the winners. That's the one I'm keeping. And here's Havana Night with, um, I don't want to say losers cause that's rude. The, um, the ones who didn't place today. So decluttering four, kept five, that's not bad, okay. I feel like it would have made a big difference if I kept this and it was like keeping six, decluttering three, but like five and four? No, I have six that I'm keeping. <laughs> I didn't swatch one of them in my hand. I bet it was red velvet. I think I got too excited and I moved on. All right, well, either way, that kind of killed a little bit of my excitement. But I'm keeping six. I started with 10. I think I could be happy with that. And that's everything for today. Um, if you like this journey into my red lipsticks, please give me a like and subscribe. I have more kind of like using what I have content on the way. And thank you so much for being here. Bye.